You're really a part of that, this new generation of dreaming and thinking about trans identity, you know, which isn't about this revelation of transformation, but really just a continuing conversation about essence. Society is still in the most rudimentary phase of embracing trans person, and it has to be a person that's desexualized, it has to be someone that's like sexless but maternal, can still be pretty but not sexually threatening. It's so frustrating at the same time because I do feel like some of the, our greatest artists and assets sets are, are being undervalued in our society. It's like a level of feminine power that you're embodying that really does scare the shit out of some of those guys that aren't, aren't, aren't comfortable. And it's not about passing, it's about power. It's so simple, it, like it breaks them all down, it breaks all down all their whole system of the binary, it breaks down everything that their little tiny myopic lives are built on. They don't want to know that they could fall in love with you and that they want to fall in love with you. It's going to totally deconstruct the fabric of their heterosexual nuclear, nuclear lives. lives.